Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and lovely greetings from Donauwerth, which is in the southern part of Germany. And we're here at a Gliders airfield. I'm here with Stefan Langer. Stefan is a YouTuber who dedicated his entire channel towards glider flying. And we just met last weekend at the Aero and decided, hey, why don't we just go flying together in this beautiful Arcus double seater? Stefan is gonna show me some good moves in this sleek aerodynamically shaped glider. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. <laughs> are you dreaming of soaring through the skies and ready to turn your passion into a career, but you don't know where to start and how to prepare for flight school, even finding the right one? I've got you covered. With the Future Pilots Masterclass, your ultimate online course to ace flight school. You worry how good your maths and physics skills need to be? I'll give you tons of practice material to get you where you need to be. I'll help you strengthen your wings with insider tips on acing the medical exam and elevate your confidence for upcoming theory and practical exams. So my question to you is, are you ready for takeoff? Let me be your wingman and join the Future Pilots Masterclass today. See you in the skies. We have just installed the left hand wing. Oh, absolutely impressed how easy it is just to maneuver this little wing into its contraption. <laughs> yeah, and you just sort of wiggle it in and, uh, and even the controls are automatically connected. This is impressive. This is absolutely impressive. Okay. One big bolt. Oh. And then it's in. That's it? That's it. Oh. Holy cow! Okay, first uh, major difference that I've just spotted uh, compared to like a little Cessna or a Piper is that the entire trailing edge of this glider is an aileron. I thought it's only this part, this the outer part, but it's actually all the way in from uh, the wingtip all the way down to the wing root. It's all one massive aileron. So you can't use them as flaps. They're not only just ailerons, the entire thing is also then can be used as a flap or a landing flap coming in for landing. All right, so now we have to uh, install the horizontal stabilizer. I was even impressed by the trailer in which the glider came into the airfield. Everything fitted so nicely and tidy into it. And Stefan is an absolute expert in setting up this airplane. It's all perfectly orchestrated. Okay, this is slightly unusual. I see it says uh, pitot tube here, or pitot. Yeah, yeah. it's for the airspeed. Is that the only one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought, well, with all the airplanes and with all the glides at the front, right? Yeah, they, sometimes they are here, and yeah. sometimes at the front. So, pitot There's tube. the pitot tube, okay. I've never seen that before, a removable pitot tube. If you blow into the pitot tube, you can actually check if your airspeed indicator is working. So next up, I was responsible for mounting the wingtips and their winglets. I don't want to say click and play, but that's basically what it is. Followed by taping up the created gaps to improve the aerodynamics. I couldn't believe it when Stefan said some gliders have bug removers on the leading edge that dead bugs don't disturb the airflow. That's how much care they take about the aerodynamics on the glider. Then Stefan performed a thorough outside check, ensuring all the flight control surfaces were moving free and correct. And what you see here are the massive speed brakes, which you really can feel when you extend them during approach and landing. And after that, we were ready to fill up the tanks with water. More on that in a minute. This is the screw for everything, right? Yeah, for the horizontal stabilizer. Okay. And here for the water inlet. Nice. Let's get the water going. There we go. Nice. Water, no fuel. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> okay, Do you want to shower here? Yeah, it seems like I want to shower here. Okay. Fantastic. Right, like this, and then. Yeah. That's it, huh? You screw it out. Unscrew it, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, why fill the tanks with water? Adding water ballast increases the wing loading of the aircraft and this increase shifts the glider to the high speed end of the polar graph. 
stated simply, flying a heavier glider helps the high-speed performance of the machine yeah, at right. a sacrifice to low speed and circling climbing performance. So Stefan wanted to go fast that day, <laughs> that's all. The ladies are lined up. Peter's in the front with the tow plane. Obviously we're not gonna tow all the planes simultaneously, but they're all lined up. He's gonna come around and uh, connect everyone individually. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Sun's out, can't wait. It's gonna be good. <laughs> we're just doing the outside check. Oh, that's it. Flight control check. The detachment. Detaches. And ready to go. All right. Thanks, Philip. Probe is verriegelt. Yes, sir. And here we go. <laughs> a cool feeling that was getting pulled into the sky by Pete in the tow plane. Stefan told me that glider pilots try and fly a little bit higher than the tow plane just in order to avoid the wake turbulence. Stefan has given me the controls. It's incredible how sensitive this plane is. Uh, this you just minor movements on the control stick and the plane immediately reacts it's incredible the key thing that i'm missing is actually the artificial horizon i am so used to flying with an artificial horizon but it just this cockpit doesn't have one. Oh, pretty winning here we go the other thing that is so different to flying a propeller driven plane is you really have to use the whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> you really have to use the rudder a lot to fly straight and level, you don't do as much actually in a propeller driven plane or on the jumbo, I mean only for the landing really or for takeoff, but other than that you don't really use the rudder much. So here I'm constantly in the rudder pedals trying to keep this little bit of wool actually nice and straight. There we go, that's ooh, there we go, perfect, okay. We had Stefan's buddy Philip in the second plane following us and as soon as Stefan found a thermal, Philip would join the circling climb until we were high enough to cover some ground again. I was stunned to say the least how easily we gained altitude in so many places. Okay, we are at 1,350 meters. Uh, this is very unusual for me. It is, it is a tad bouncy. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel a little bit sick. I do have a fantastic pilot ahead who's trying to avoid all the turbulence. It's just because I'm so used to just flying straight and level in the 747. It is completely different sort of style of flying, but I, I enjoy, I'm trying to enjoy it. <laughs> you can see I've got the, the sweats coming. Uh, I have this little hole here to get some fresh air, which is definitely helping. Stefan is letting me fly every now and then, but it's just, I really have to get used to it. This is so unusual. A few moments later. Sorry, Joe. Man is good. I might have done Tassio, you know? Did you get some gold? Yeah, I'll be back here. I'm really sorry that you had to see this. But I'm actually now feeling much better. We're trying to gain more altitude again. So for anyone who is becoming a glider pilot, it's no shame in throwing up. Uh, and sometimes it actually helps and it helped on my side. I feel much better right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet for a minute now. I just want you to enjoy these views.
here I just quickly want to mention or make you realize how peaceful this is. We're going at 100 kilometers which will be not so fast but it is just so silent and I oh thank you <laughs> it's so silent and I'm really loving this so this is you can really enjoy this now you've got this fantastic view I'm not, I don't even have a microphone on me I'm using a microphone on this phone oh, and <laughs> all good all good this is a very very different type of flying that is so peaceful compared to you know in, in, in the jumbo wearing the headset all the time in a little Cessna wearing the headset there the incredible noise of the propeller this is ah I could do this all day. This is so peaceful. Love it. How are you doing, Stefan? You good back there? Yeah. Uh, sorry, back there. That's good. Great. You good? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's Fantastic. Fun. <laughs> Alrighty. Then uh, I shall be doing some flying again now. <laughs> I have control. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Here we go. So to answer the question, can a 747 pilot fly a glider? Yes, they can. With a few more flights, I want to say that I feel confident enough that I could fly the plane solo. Trust me, I got hooked after this experience with having Stefan at the front as an amazing instructor. I highly recommend this to anyone who wants to become a pilot. Uh, great flight, <laughs> great thermos. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed that. <laughs> Holy cow. It was a fantastic experience. Uh, besides <laughs> those couple really? of minutes where I got really, really sick. But I do, I feel, felt so much better after I have uh, emptied my stomach. So <laughs> what, is the, what is the advice you would give someone who's just coming out of school and he wants to start glider flying, what kind of advice would you give him? Go into a club, in a yeah. gliding club, and um, make a trial flight, and then most of the time you are already sitting in the front seat in a glider. Okay. Uh, and then if you like it, just make the training and make your license. You can start at the age of 14 with the training, wow. and then you can make your license with the age of 16 already, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's really cool and it's also fun to be on the airfield you can mm -hmm. learn driving cars and so on uh, with 40, <laughs> with the age of 14 so it, it's nice. just a fun hobby and of yeah. course flying i really like it it's um, you, you felt it today it's a lot of steering uh, really flying all mm -hmm. the time it's more than let's say a powered plane which is just true. go from a to b straight Very flight true. there you have other stuff to do that's true yeah, absolutely. What Seven is saying is correct. It's it's more hands-on. Um, I think here you really learn to fly. Um, we realized just today that I didn't use as much rudder as Stefan did. So that just goes to show that um, uh, in a propeller-driven plane, you don't use the rudder as much, only maybe in the turn and, and for landing. And I, obviously in the jumbo, you don't use it at all just also for takeoff and landing you can learn some fantastic skills in a glider plane uh, so this is a tip from my side and from stefan uh, if you do want to become an airline pilot i think this is the best way to start off in a glider and in a glider gliding club to wrap up this video that's it for today thank you very much for your time stefan thank you so much for, for taking me on this journey it was really yeah. fantastic so please do yourself a favor uh, subscribe to his channel and to stefan langer on youtube and uh, here's your checklist today subscribe to our channel check activate notification bell check follow both of our instagram accounts check and perform a touch and go at my website check and don't forget a good pilot even in a glider is always learning. Wishing you all the best. Your Captain Joe.